here's a couple that I've been working on the last couple days. I'm gonna be honest, y'all. Well, that's right. Well, they call me Jorge, but I can't dig them holes and plant them all in one day like that. Well, I don't have it like I used to. And well, them old arms letting up, they're getting weak on me. Norma Jean, you better not try to get out of there. Y'all supposed to be watching her. Let me know if she try to sneak past that corner. Now. Gotta put a little more dirt on my tree. If you plant trees like this and you got free range chickens, keep in mind if you put dirt and leaves in the ground, where well, them chickens going to scratch it up. And well, that's another reason for the rocks that we put on top. Well, that makes it where them chickens can't go in there and scratch it up like they want to. All right, this is Cross the Creek. My name's Chris. Back again with another video and uh, well, starting in the garden again, y'all. Well, it's gonna be a quick video. Today we're gonna key in on these guys right here. Uh, you saw that title. Uh, we're gonna take you guys around. Really, very short video. Y'all, excuse that hose. I've been watering out here. And well, we're gonna show you guys how we plant our trees. Uh, fruit trees, nut trees. We got some pecan trees in here. Some Asian pear trees and well, some old cherry trees too. Well, I don't know which one's which. I ain't written no labels and all. But uh, well, we take them from this size here. And then when well, we grow them out this size here in these old temporary baskets. And then, well, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys what. Well, how we put them suckers in the ground, old school country style. Before we do that, anybody that's new to the channel, well, I want to ask you so graciously to subscribe. And uh, well, if you don't, it ain't gonna matter. We are gonna cut loose either way. But uh, hit that thumbs up on us and turn on your notifications. I've noticed on some of our videos on the channel where you guys don't get notified and you miss videos. And I don't want you to do that and you don't want to do that neither. But uh, we're gonna play that anthem and uh, we're gonna get right in. I'm gonna show you guys where we plant them suckers at. Old school style. And no, y'all cannot get in my garden. Get out of here. Ooh. You can offer me a diamond plated pearl. You can send me all the riches in the world. You can tempt me with the palaces of kings. I'd give them back in a big old sack and keep the simple things. All right, well, I took you guys through the garden up here, and you guys saw well, where we grow them trees out. Uh, we got these holes dug here, and the uh, first tree we're going to look at today is, what's well, a pear tree. It's a pear tree. I can read the label there on it. But, uh, we setting these guys. Uh, we're building them parallel here. We're going to move our animal trampoline out the way. We're going to build us a parallel walkthrough to the garden here with trees on both sides. Sorry for the wind noise, but I can take you. Uh, some of these trees we planted already, and uh, well, I don't know what that one is. It uh, looks like a cherry tree. Same concept here, digging the holes deep enough in the ground uh, so that way, well, we can get them in there. We put us some manure and all in there from the animals, some chicken litter, some compost soil, and then we'll cover it up with gravel there. And well, that'll allow for the good drain like it's supposed to. You gotta have good drainage when you plant them trees. Uh, here's a couple that I've been working on the last couple of days. I'm gonna be honest, y'all. Well, that's right. Well, they call me Jorge, but I can't dig them holes and plant them all in one day like that. Well, I don't have it like I used to. And well, them old arms letting up, they're getting weak on me. But, uh, we got them suckers planted in like they're supposed to. And uh, this is the one I'm going to sit on the time lapse today. I'm going to let y'all see me uh, plant this guy. And, well, I hope it trizzolates. But, uh, in this one here, we've got other holes dug. Maybe in the next video or so, you guys may not see it. But, uh, well, them suckers deep, deep. I'm talking about manholes. And I'm going to dig me one other one right here in this area. And I'm going to bring another one of those trees out. And we'll try to get them things in the ground before fall and when a break comes in. I'm not going to hold y'all up too long. I'm going to set this thing on a quick time lapse. If you're into gardening, you may like this video. Uh, if you don't like gardening videos, I can tell you right now, click out. Well, and click another Cross the Creek video. And well, maybe you can watch the animals or you can go on a fishing adventure with us or something. Uh, I'm not going to take up too much of y'all's time. Let me see if I can get this sucker in the ground and uh, see if we can get him to trizzolate like he's supposed to. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is get it off this old wagon here and get it broke down out of this dirt and get it set up in this one. Uh, this thing's heavy, heavy, but let's see if I can get him down. But uh, down's always easier than up. Come on here. Ugh. People say they want to see you. Get this wagon out of the way so we can operate a little bit. This particular tree we plant here is a pear tree, as I've already mentioned. But if you're planting more traditional trees, uh, I don't know, apple trees, orange trees, and that sort of thing, the concept is still the same. You want a two or three foot deep hole, and you want it about a foot and a half across. That way you can get everything in there. Most of your trees have bulbs on them. And, uh, well, I'll show you that and I'll go get that camera in a minute. You don't want to bury them deeper than the bulb there. That allows for the filtration like you should and it won't just water saturate. Let's get this sucker turned over. Uh, be your hopes on things eternal. 
right here is playing like your papa used to do. Well, if you didn't pay attention to your papa, make sure you pay attention here. Let me suck up out of here. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's time. Time for you to go on in the ground by yourself. You have to work them out slow. The reason being is you don't want to tear up all the root source. They're going to get a little trauma and tearing them up some. You can help now tearing up all the root so if you want to do it that way. I believe she says she'll give now. I believe she says she'll give on that. There we go. There we go. Set that sucker in here. Set them up right. Like that right there. We'll use the rest. Feel on around. We'll use that rest there and feel on around. We're gonna go dig up some dirt and then well, we'll come back and cover them back in. I'll turn that camera back on. I'm gonna go inside one of the chicken pens there and uh, we'll start digging up some fertilizer, some more soil. We'll get that sucker like it's supposed to be. All right, we'll head on in and get some of this old fertilizer. Well, I don't guess it won't let me in. Let's get these sticks out the way. We don't need any more sticks. And well, if y'all see them pigs try to get out, y'all let me know. Don't let them beat us, y'all. Don't let them beat us. Let's get us some dirt in here. I need to borrow some of this dirt, y'all. I need all that food y'all got in. It's going to fertilize some later. While I'm doing this, I'd like to give a shout out. Well, y'all know, first of all, I got to give a shout out to anybody struggling with anything. But then, I got to give a shout out to a little sweaty king 65. Eli, if you happen to catch this one, I still got a fishing video. Man. I've got that thing archived. And, uh, well, you'll see it again. I don't want you to think, well, I just took you off and didn't put you back on. Yeah. Uh, doing some work on the video. Well, I got to get some of that music out of there. Got to get some of that copyright material out of there. Well, I upload it back up. Well, sometimes I'm out jamming, y'all. Well, when I'm jamming, I got my music going. And I don't think about all the rules of YouTube. Let's see if we can get this. Well, let me have them. Let me have them. Let me have them. Norma Jean, you better not try to get out of there. Y'all supposed to be watching her. Let me know if she try to sneak past that corner. Now. Gotta put a little more dirt on my tree. If you plant trees like this and you got free range chickens, keep in mind if you put dirt and leaves in the ground, where well, them chickens going to scratch it up. Well, that's another reason for the rocks that we put on top. Well, that makes it where them chickens can't go in there and scratch it up like they want to. And there's one other thing I forgot to tell y'all. We'll just pray and let God do the rest. That's what I'm in here doing. Maybe we'll get some rain. Maybe we'll get some rain, rain, rain. Let's go. Get in there. Oh. Come on. Got to have you. Got to have you. Got to have you. All right, now. I'm planting them other trees. I believe we about exhausted our options on dirt here. You can't leave now, Aunt Ruby. Got to stay. That was Aunt Ruby and Penelope. They trying to get on out of here. My piglets there. I'm not sure if y'all picked that up on the camera or not. There we go. There we go. We'll go load this dirt in here. 
Uh, I'm gonna bring y'all in here for a second. I'm gonna show y'all what we got going on here. I know it ain't an animal video, but uh, well, for my animal enthusiasts on the channel, you may love what we got going on here. We got chickens pooping here, pigs turning the ground, see them turning that ground, turning the ground, and that well turns it like a compost bin. And uh, we can come in here and get all the kind of dirt we need to do any kind of plant. Y'all looking at we even got breakfast cooking up. Uh, I've got a rooster in here with my hand to keep my hand laying like you see it. And one of these three here said they're gonna keep turning that ground like they're supposed to. Uh, I gotta tote this sucker out here and get them on the wagon, y'all. Whew, I'm out of breath. I'll meet y'all back over at that tree. Well, I gotta protect it when the chickens is here. And the reason being is they find that right there, it's got some good grubs and worms in it. Well, they'll go to digging it up. Put some more of this old fertilized dirt on top. Y'all, it's heavy here. I bet I hear no weak jokes in the comment section. Woo. There we go. Put a little bit of that dirt on there. Put a little bit of that old school dirt on there. I'm talking about that's that oink oink piggy piggy dirt. Put it in there. Let's scatter that out and see where we stand. Just because I don't feel like toting this sucker back. Y'all don't judge me. Some of y'all do that at home too. Just pour it all on there. Well, I don't feel like toting it back. We're pushing on that. So. Perfect. 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 Alright. Okay. Now next on the list here, we've got to get in with our substrate. Well, our filtration substrate is what they call it. But I call it rocks. We got to get our rocks in here. And the rocks allow the water, well, to trizzle on down there and do like it's supposed to around. Let's load us up some rocks. All right, guys, I'm behind the camera because I'm breathing a little hard. But uh, the next part is the heaviest part, but it's also the most important part. And, well, that's the rocks. And the reason being is if you've got free range chickens, well, like you guys see over there, and uh, well, we've got many, many. And, uh, well, th they'll get in there and scratch that sucker out if you don't have it protected correctly. And, uh, well, that'll tear up the root system and then your plant won't live. But let me see if I can get this thing just a hair higher. There we go. Once they tear up your root system, then your tree won't live. But, uh, well, with chickens, the most tender part on the chicken is the bottom of the feet. And if you cover it up, like you see that uh, one over behind with the rocks, if you cover it up with something hard and they're not interested in scratching in you, well, you can keep your stuff alive. Let's pull this thing on in here. Let's put them on this one. We're gonna start pouring some of this rock on here. We'll set that down and get that razzle tassel up. What this rock also does is well, it kind of acts as a, a hover umbrella kind of ordeal over the top of the hole, the deep area of the hole. And well, it prevents the mud and clay from packing up so the water can get down. So it makes it easy for this plant to be, well, I call it a plant, but for this tree to be naturally watered all the way down to the roots as long as it sits here. Let's see. Let's see. I think we got enough rock on there. But, uh, well, like I said in the last one there, well, you just put a little more on because you're too tired and you don't want to carry it back. Just put a little more on. Again, this concept works great with any kind of tree. This one here just so happens to be old country pear tree. 
But if you plant apple trees or anything like that, uh, same concept, same idea. It'll work out great for you, especially if you're in the country with free range chickens and all. Alright, let you guys get a close up look at it there and I'll show you where the bulb starts. Well, the area that I told you don't want to cover, I covered them up some, but it doesn't matter. He starts about here, and uh, well, this guy here, he'll, he'll thrive and he'll get up and grow. Well, sort of like the rest of them. These guys are saturated, they've said a while. Like I said, I've been lazy about getting it knocked out. Guys, that sums it up for this video. If you've been tuning in, you guys know we hadn't been making long videos, very, very short videos. Uh, I'd like to invite you to come back. Well, we're gonna do a fish moving video. I'm gonna be moving the fish well, from the aquaponics area out to the old mud pond. You know, I want y'all to come see. I'm gonna be fishing them suckers out like a knockoff beer dance. But I won't take up too much of y'all's time. Y'all wish my trees good luck. Uh, leave us any well wishes in the comment section. And well, any advice, if you don't like the way I've done that, tell me how you do it in the comment section as well. But uh, got to go, this sweat's running, and I gotta catch them in the Olympics game. Uh, thanks for watching, doggies.